You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Yours has changed. Softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run this city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Althon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the Trade Depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. Thank you, Auden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abbess does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved. 
whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the Rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The Rectory is on the road to the Minster. I should look for the Bishop there. Pile of official scrolls, stamped with a seal. said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the red hand. They're everywhere. Please, I don't want any trouble. Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it. Where's this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there. hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Take Patiar in nominis sui gloriam. No, stay away from me. <laughs> Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. Wh what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. Fessit Dominus Nostra Sabbath. Be
The bishop's course. What do you see? The bishop's courses. What is that burning smell? I knew I should have left with all this. from the other side. Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Lord above! The, the bishop! No, no. I can't look. Oh, dear Lord! Blood. There was a struggle here. Oh, the stench. He looks like searcher's shit. Charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. Target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. It is time I head to the minster. The abbess knows more than she's letting on. The firebrand's plan is coming to fruition. At long last. We have waited in the shadows for too long. Keep your eyes sharp and watch out for uninvited guests. Go. Huh. 
Red hand all around. They must have secured the minster. you think you're doing this is no place for you priest go now blasphemy stop this at once something troubling you father abbess look they are burning all of these passages why are you not stopping this because i ordered them to what the vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you... There is no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed! Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. The Abbess is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim.
See, fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. 
We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where cold and crueler fires await.
What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abyss, Inkiborg. Gods. I would never have suspected. Does the orders reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The Abbas sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless six have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The Howling Mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And Hure, if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. Long have I waited for the chance to serve one of Join such worth. Together we'll force open the doors of the All Father's Hall. Being kept. Quick, you've seen that here. I look. The Dark Master. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yarping. Hard to miss. Fuck off! There must be another way in. <laughs> Oh, is well guarded by the Red Hand. Stake in these docks.
exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master sees his cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths and may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business. With Grigori. I don't know your face. And I've said too much already. Please, go! Hi, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm making to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. We will go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with Have you any wine for sale? There's nearly a drop in town. Sorry. All the wine Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the East Gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. <laughs> Side here. 
the sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand. Who can thread the needle? Someone like me. You are a shit poet. But at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. I think your men are going to stop me. I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done!
Come, come. Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, shh, shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. This area is off limits. I, I do the thinking, you do as you're told. Funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, Someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you.
So is that Heritha is where the hair will be She bishop What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle. Soldier of the wares is seized to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast. But I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rhysia, Falavith, Odin, and... You're... the four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. This desk. It looks as though it... Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? Hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours. It's loaded with silver. There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? It looks that way. It is not him, not Mayor. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hjor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go.
back soon. Isn't it? Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even Hjor? Even Hjor. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. to speak to the council members. I'll speak of the wine. Faravid, a word if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ah, if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. I will speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? Not yet. I will return shortly with my decision. Your, who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you both. Of course. Odun, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin, and these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, 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 I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Delightful feast. Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. The high reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. We need to find the vault. Have you any idea who it is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, 
which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Ingibor collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on the day we honor you, we honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. Indebted. Aldun is the vault. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now... Deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride. I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle all them. Go. Escape. No future for people like you. Target practice. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none.
As I was saying. Eivor, over here. Are you all right? We're fine. Faravud and his cars escorted King Rishie back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. That snivelling little shit. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Audun aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrive? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple. They would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Haft and Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today. And so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Without resources, Hafton's army will perish against the Picts. I say be fun to the war. Give Haftan's men what they need to turn the tide. Future Danes and Saxons will thank us for it. You will hear no argument from me. Then it will be done. You will see that your army gets what they need. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this horde. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Vjarnia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now. And the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk here. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. I know of a place down the street. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. 
Let's tell her the good news. Hello, friend. Come see my wares. Made with the finest ingredients. Wonderful. No refunds. You should always have... You sure there isn't uh, something else? I'm off. Be well, friend. Because you all have such good taste. Now. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufina, and Hjor's Eight. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls.
I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Yorkshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. I'm grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Jarvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I've found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I will speak with Randvi, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. What is it you do here again? When you eliminate... I have to go. Then go in peace.
baker is done, Tarpin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though. If you had a moment, a grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I cannot help now. Maybe later. No, Russ. Just let me know. Desert oasis, far away, a place of mystery, wonder, and a temple to a hidden. to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. I should go. want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Yorkshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet- Halfton Jarl. I've heard that man's- He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern- If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war- I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just be-